Now it is time for lefties losing it, starting with Australia's breakdancing entry at the Olympic Games. Yes, apparently breakdancing is part of the Games. Are we surprised? It really capped off the IOC's woke farce of a tournament where athletes with male chromosomes were allowed to compete in the women's division and where vegan food and cardboard beds were served up all in the name of climate change. Now, in horrific scenes that resembled a 3am leg cramp, you know, the ones you get when you're in bed, mixed with a T-Rex and someone being spun around in a tumble dryer, Rachel Gunn, otherwise known as B-Girl Ray Gunn, performed some sort of bizarre act in front of the world, complete with a kangaroo hop for an added cute touch. B-Girl Ray Gunn has a PhD in the cultural politics of breaking. Now, if that doesn't scream lefty, I don't know what does. Now, here is a real example of breakdancing. <laughs> See, it's actually quite good when done by a professional with skill and talent. And here is the exclusive footage we have obtained of B-Girl Ray Gun's performance. Sorry, that's uh, that's not the right tape. Okay, here is the actual footage. Okay, no, no, really, uh, can someone please play the correct tape? <laughs> And they all fall silent. You know what? That's close enough. That was exactly how the world watched on in shock and complete confusion as the B-Girl bunny hopped onto the stage for a painfully embarrassing few minutes. And of course, the left media has come to Ray Gunn's defence, blaming her uniform of all things. She also copped a lot of flack for wearing her uniform and she was saying that she was really proud to wear the green and gold and... A lot of people have given her flat because she didn't go out there in traditional streetwear or something, but do you, do you think that's fair? I think it's... Well, when you're going to Olympics, you're representing your country. Mm. And she was wearing the colours. And guess what? The patriarchy have also left to her defence. Cue this lefty meltdown. She is the best break dancer, female, that we have for Australia. Now, you look at the history of what we have had as women athletes has faced in terms of criticism, belittlement, judgment, criticism and simple comments like they shouldn't be there. hundred years ago, leading into Paris 1924, Australia sent a team of 37 athletes. None were women. A hundred years later, we have 256 women represented here and Ray Gunn is an absolutely loved member of this Olympic team. Ah, yes. Cue the left's A-grade weapon, misogyny. Look, I don't think it was the uniform or being a woman that let her down. Maybe she just isn't as good at breakdancing as she is at writing articles like this one, titled Negotiating and Challenging Gendered Assumptions in Sydney's Breakdancing Scene, where she states that she uses theoretical tools to unpack and challenge normative gendered narratives with breakdancing culturally inscribed as masculine b-boying and its conventions interlocking with broader patriarchal restrictions that inhibit female participation and bodily expression. How's that for a mouthful? And guess what? B-boys and B-girls, I guess 
That is what she means by bodily expression. But don't mock her or the patriarchy will come at all you misogynists. Now let's move on to Rosie O'Donnell. Poor old Rosie O. We almost forgot about that lefty, didn't we? But it seems the lefty hasn't quite forgotten about Donald Trump. Rosie O, still all these years later, this poor woman still has a serious, acute and chronic case of Trump derangement syndrome. Are you watching this moron speak? Can he form a coherent sentence? He is the worst thing that ever happened, period. And he's just babbling like an incoherent asshole. He's like Dr. Doom. He's the worst thing. And this was the moment Donald Trump broke old Rosie O for about the millionth time. He just lies, lies, lies. I am done with Donald Trump. Let's be done with Donald, okay? Done with Donald. Guys, newsflash. Rosie is done with Donald. She's apparently, she's had enough. Look, I do feel sorry for her. You can uh, really tell there that her derangement condition has taken its toll over the years, hasn't it? Now to the lefty meltdowns over Tampon Tim, a.k.a. Tim Walls, Kamala Harris's pick for VP, and look no further than the MSNBC loons who take offence to the Tampon Tim name. The Trump campaign is attacking Governor Walls as, quote, Tampon Tim, which drives me crazy mm -hmm. because it, it is making fun of something very serious and very caring that he that he has done for for Minnesota students. Yes, it's very serious and very caring that he put tampons in boys' bathrooms. And cue the Democrats. Tim Walls is a dad, and that is big dad energy, making sure uh, that folks who need access uh, to hygiene products have them. Big dad energy. More like small dad energy for pushing warped gender ideology onto children that men can have a period. And finally, to some more typical Kamala Harris supporters. Why are y'all voting for Kamala Harris? I don't want to lose my rights. Like, I'm a trans man and I'm gay and I have been pregnant and I've had an abortion before and I don't want to lose that. I'm afraid of not being able to be myself anymore because from what I've heard, Trump's America doesn't want me to look like this. So that's why I'm here today and that's why I'm voting blue. Aha. Uh, look, uh, I don't understand that, but then again, I don't speak woke.